Hey guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. Today we're going to talk about the grubs, fish and grubs for smallmouth bass. Coming up. So in my opinion, grubs have fell at the wayside, so to speak. Um, we know they work, they're very effective, but I don't think a lot of people are really throwing them on a regular basis. And so I'm going to walk you through step by step the type of grubs that I use and how I fish them and how it can help put more, bis more, ba bleh, more bass in your boat. So this is my grub box and inside I have a variety of different grubs. Uh, most of the time, I also have a finesse grub box I did not bring with me, uh, but I use uh, a three or four inch grub, and the grubs I use a lot are, are called hypertail grubs. They're made by Get Bit Baits, and they have a little thumper on the back. I, I believe it gives a little bit more added uh, vibration to the grub itself, and they also have a couple different uh, longer type of grubs, like these persuaders I use quite a bit, and I'll use those on a 16th or 8th ounce jig head, a uh, chartreuse, a uh, U-color, a clear color for real super clear water. Today I'm fishing in some stained water, and so I decided to go with this particular color here. And uh, if that doesn't work, I'm actually going to go with this color, which will kind of mimic even better uh, the water color that we're faced with today. So let's see if we can catch a few fish on it. Normally when I throw a grub, I'll start out with an eighth ounce uh, head. That seems to be standard. I'll go to 16th up to a quarter, three eighths if there's current. And um, my spinning rod setup is basically, so my spinning rod setup is a seven foot medium light. It's got a great tip to it, especially when you're grub fishing. And uh, I'm using eight pound Power Pro with a six pound fluorocarbon leader. And then I just have the grub rigged up on that eighth ounce jig head. And really it's, it's very simple technique. You just cast it to the target, depending on the depth, and you just give it a slow retrieve back in. Now sometimes I've jigged a grub off the bottom, hopped it, so there's different ways to retrieve the grub. But today I'm just going to start out with slowly swimming the grub. And oftentimes you do want to play around with color. Uh, white's always good. I've thrown black and blue, green pumpkin. This body of water I haven't thrown a grub in in the past, so it's got a little bit of stained bottom. And I always like to, to throw a bait that blends in with the water so it looks more natural. But I'm just going to keep casting this grub around. Roll that grub. I'm just slow rolling a grub. Trying to get a bite. Won't you slow roll my grub? And oftentimes I'll just start singing for no reason. Only when I'm throwing the grub. It's called the slow roll my grub. Slow roll my grub. Bam! That's going to be the cast. So I just keep the rod tip down. Slowly reeling that grub back. And then when I get a bite, I just continue to reel. I don't give a... a a jerk on the rod, nothing like that. They just keep the momentum going. 
I reel a little bit faster, catch up with the fish, and then the fight is on. So grubs work great pre-spawn. They work great in the summer. They work great when the fish are offshore, feeding on um, shad, perch. You can swim it at the depth you believe the fish are at. So I like to use a grub as a trailer a lot as well. So I'll put a grub on the back of a chatterbait. I use it quite often on the back of a swim jig. And this might be a situation where, there's one. That's a hefty one there. Where are you going? I'm over here, dude. I'm over here. I don't know where, where you're trying to get to. Oh, you won't let me catch you. There we go. Nice little smallmouth on the grub. Not too bad. We take them. All right. My first bass I ever caught was on a grub, a Mr. Twister. I also caught my first northern on a white Mr. Twister. Now grubs, uh, and, and back in the day, you used to buy that Mr. Twister in a package, you know, it have like three or four grubs, a lead head, and then that spinner, that arm with a little Colorado blade. And you rig that through the uh, jig head hole and basically tie that up. You guys should try to track some of those down again, get back into it, because it caught fish. Now we're all fancy with underspins and whatnot. Ooh, there was a tap. You just got to keep reeling. Even if you feel it pull, you just want to keep reeling. That fish could be following it. There he is. Bite size. I'll tell you what. Now, I was expecting a few more uh, bites between this point and that other point. So I'm going to just change colors. Sometimes that can really make a difference. And I, I was curious about this here color. It's kind of like a gold. It's got some crazy uh, different fleck in there, like a rainbow. Well guys, unfortunately, uh, I lost the footage and the sound to the rest of the grub video. I ended up catching three or four uh, with a couple real good ones I was hoping to show, but I cannot find them here uh, when I was editing. Uh, same thing with this rattle trap video I did just afterwards. I could not get any sound. Um, I don't know. I got issues. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.